All right, so we got our pegs taken off yesterday and we painted them uh, matte black. So these are those white pegs. And then we have some grip tape that we ordered off of Amazon. Uh, this was the six inch version that I found right here. So that's gonna match up with our pegs. And so I'm gonna wrap these in this grip tape and, uh, and then reassemble on the bike. And I think we'll be in good shape. Um, yesterday, I don't know what happened to my phone, um, but I found the cause of the kill switch and it didn't get recorded for some reason. But um, I took the bolt out of the top of here. Well, first I loosened these two bolts, or I'm sorry, I loosened these two nuts. There's one here, one here, and then there's a, uh, an eight millimeter here, or five sixteenths, um, right there. So I took that one out, and those two, and the gas tank um, came off. And then once the gas tank was off, I could take that um, bolt out, and there's a bolt down here, and a bolt down here. And this whole cover came off, and this cable right here runs to the back side of the coil um, and that's the where the ground was and that wire had come off um, so I reconnected it and used my pliers squeezed it down on there so it was nice and snug and then uh, before I reassembled made sure everything started and stopped um, as it should kill switch is now working um, so we're good to go um, so we're going to reassemble the foot pegs and then once we've got those on there, um, we may go ahead and pull off these front bars and put a little paint on them. And then um, I believe it'll be all set and ready to go. I don't think I'm gonna reupholster the seat. Um, it doesn't look in that bad a shape and I'm not that great of a reupholster person. Um, so I think we'll leave that as is for right now. If, if we get feedback on uh, from sellers that they want to see it covered or something we can do that but I don't feel like doing that right now Oh yeah, I think those turned out really nice. Oh yeah. All right, so we just wrapped up, ha ha, the grip tape on the pegs. They're all nice and sparkly, and they look really good. We're gonna poke some holes through the paper where the drill bit, um, where the bolt has to pull, pass through, and get them thrown on there, and we'll be ready to go.
All right, so we just sprayed that out. Got it all blacked out. Looks real good now. We'll give it a day to dry, then we'll reassemble everything. But I think it turned out real nice. It'll be a nice matte black. It'll look real good. That black hides those dings in the handlebars. Makes it look really sharp. I like how that turned out. All right, all right. Welcome back, everybody. So uh, we're back on the Doodle Bug project. Hi. And we have a photo bomber. Yo, what are we doing today, Dad? Uh, this? So today we are working on the Doodle Bug project. Uh, that's the engine. That big thing in the middle. Yeah. Yep. Yep, that, well, that's the muffler specifically, but that this whole thing in general is the motor. Yep. And I don't climb up on top of it. These are this. If they do That's the chain. Well, yeah. Yeah. If they just do wealthy, they won't float no more. If what? If they just do wealthy, I don't think they'll work anymore. No, if they get too rusty, they won't work anymore. Yeah, they gotta wait. Yep, that's a new chain and a new clutch. So we should be in good shape. The muffler is a little rusty, but that's okay. Did we redeem it? Uh, no, that's not part of my project right now. I'm not going to clean up the muffler. What's this wire? That's the spark plug. Huh. The spark plug wire. That's what uh, makes the engine fire. Okay. So, is this the engine we're working on today? No, we're going to work on that front handlebar and putting the wheels back on it. So we, uh, we got our foot pegs put on, mm -hmm. we got our handlebars painted. Is this so we're gonna, we're, that's the kickstand. So we're gonna put it back together, okay? Yo, let's get building. Let's get building, all right. I like the sound of that. Okay, so, so this wheel is the back wheel. That's the front wheel. Okay, what wheel? What wheel, everybody? This is the back wheel. This. And the handlebars. Shut on. Back on. Okay. Right. I'll hold it. You're gonna hold it? Yeah. Alright, you hold the handlebars. Run, 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 Um, what type 
this is the impact wrench. Oh, really? And this is a regular wrench. Oh, impact wrench. It's got a ratchet on the end of it, so we can call it a ratcheting wrench. Ratcheting wrench. It's official. You've named it. Yep. Oh, it's on the doodle. And it still turns. That's amazing. Daddy did it and it still turns. Woohoo! And remember, it needs to do on that tiny deal. Daddy doesn't have a deal with it. Well, that is the steering wheel. They're called handlebars. Oh, turn! Right one! You're my button there. Alright, so I'm getting more careful, bud. Alright. Do not do that. Yeah, don't do that. There's no we front wheel. Until you get the front wheel. You don't want to go over the handlebars with no wheel. Oh. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so these are just Phillips, uh, that, that, that Phillips screws or Phillips bolts, Phillips head bolts. And then we're just going to put the cover plate, name plate, back on here. What about this battery after we done? Took a little convincing. Look at it. So we've got axle all the way through. So on this side, 
We've got a washer we're going to put on. And I was right. Uh, so the longer spacer went on the side with the ballast stem where the rim is deeper and the shorter one went on the other side. And now our tire is nice and centered. Put the bolt through the first side, captured the first spacer, pushed it through the front wheel, through the wheel bearing, uh, through the second longer spacer, and then through the front fork. And then we put the washer on there. We're gonna go back and put our castle nut on there. I believe that's 17 millimeters. Nope, 19 millimeters on the castle nut. Just gonna tighten that down. This castle nut allows for a quarter pin to push through the center so that when you're riding, you don't risk the chance of this castle nut coming off. So we want to make sure that we can get all the way through there with our quarter pin. We want to push our quarter pin all the way through. And once we get through, we're going to pull our tab to the side. And bend that so that way the pin can't fall out. And the nut can't come loose. There's a lot enough loose nuts in this world. We don't need to have any on our mini bike. There we go. Nice and tight. Alright, so this is pretty much put that together. Got our new pegs on there. They're rock solid, not going anywhere. I'm going to put a little air in my rear tire. Make sure we didn't tighten this down too much. Oh, nice and smooth there. Feels like we've got throttle. Feels like we got brakes. I'm going to adjust that a little bit. So that's pretty much done. I may throw some paint on this back fender, but this is not a show winner. I think this is going to be a really fun little bike for somebody. So, 
not enough power probably to turn me around, but it's enough that you can have some fun on it. It'd be great for a little kid. I'm gonna call that one a wrap. Doodlebug.